time for the test drive. So before we get started, I just want to mention that the electronic parking brake will engage and disengage by itself. Uh, I always just had a habit, go ahead and engage it and disengage it. But uh, when you park the vehicle, it'll engage. And when you get in the vehicle, and even if you were to manually engage the parking brake, if you put it in gear and start to drive, it will recognize that you're ready to go and it'll go ahead and disengage that for you. It tugs a little bit against the, the brake and then it'll release it. So I thought that was pretty cool. So let's go ahead and start it up. Of course, we use the, uh, the brake and the clutch to start it up here. You don't have to hold the button, you just tap it. And you notice that the engine is relatively quiet. And turn this down. I'll turn my music off. You notice this is very slow. Starting off in uh, the actual um, radio, when it first boots up, it's slow and sluggish, but then it finally catches up. So that's another thing. Um, there's a good example of it. Okay, so here we go. Uh, this has the intelligent manual transmission. So I'm going to leave that off for right now, just so you can see what the regular drive is about. And uh, it took me a while to get rid of get used to this clutch because there's a lot of travel but the actual clutch releases almost immediately as soon as you touch it so like it you don't have to push it very far to release it um but i don't know there's it's, it doesn't feel it feels like if it, it, it doesn't it feels weird it just feels weird compared to my acura so that's all just the way every car that i get in that has a manual you have to get used to the clutch this one takes me a little bit longer to get used to it it's just that much different but anyways i'm used to it now reverse is you pull this up all the way over put it in reverse there's your camera um, so as a six speed transmission i'm used to a five speed and i'm also used to a vehicle my acura that has a manual transmission has a higher rpms at highway speeds than this so i sometimes i'll forget to uh, put it in as high as gear but anyways those are the little quirks, and it, and I don't know if you heard that, but the uh, parking brake just automatically automatically released. So let's go ahead and go. So this is a highway that's you know has a high speed limit. So let's go ahead and see what we can do. See if I can. I've gotten used to this clutch. I'm not really gonna go. It really is fun to drive. Uh, it has a lot more acceleration. I think it's like 168 is the horsepower, but it has a lot more uh, acceleration than than I really thought it was going to be. Given that typically vehicles with manual, trans I mean, automatic transmissions with that horsepower, a lot more sluggish. Uh, even this car with the automatic, um, but this one really gives you some acceleration now i was like really dogging it back there and that's not the way i normally drive it i just want to give you an idea of what it's like um you know what it feels like and how much acceleration you know you can get now here's an issue with this vehicle one of the issues um i know it's not like a super expensive vehicle or anything but hear the road noise the engine here i am driving and six uh fifth gear but here we go six gear all right so we're in six gear going 56 let's go to 60. i'll go ahead and go to 60. all right wait for it to get to 60. so we're about it's getting there close to 60 but anyways it's a little bit over 2000 rpms uh at 60 miles an hour in sixth gear so not bad at all so you can put it in fifth gear and i want to mention this is another thing that's really strange and different than my experience with my acura is when you change gears the 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 cruise control stays on it doesn't disengage the cruise control uh it just waits to you for you to change the gear and then resumes the cruise control which is awesome my uh, other car i have to re-engage the cruise control if i were to switch gears uh, this that is really cool 
but back to the road noise. You notice the engine isn't very loud. It's the road noise, the, the noise coming in from the tires and stuff um, that's getting in the vehicle to the point where I kind of have to crank up the music to really enjoy the music and enjoy my ride. Um, it's a little annoying sometimes. This road is not too, uh, super rough, but on the really rough roads, it's, um, it's very noticeable. And the visibility, I would say, is pretty good. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and do a U-turn here. But, um, does have the blind spot detection system. And, I don't know if you can see with this camera, the view from the mirrors there. Uh, but it's not so bad. There's a little, hear that with the clutch? It's a little, little squeaky noise or something going on. I'm driving it more sane. Now the deal with the intelligent manual transmission is kind of like a rev matching thing going on because it 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 puts it tries to smooth out the shifts. Uh, this it's more noticeable when you don't shift properly than it tries to change the RPMs to match where the shift is going to land um, to try to smooth it out a little bit. Uh, it's a little it's not that noticeable, but uh, sometimes it's kind of weird. Uh, so let me go ahead and turn that on. All right, it has a little indicator there, IMT. So if I were to say downshift right now, it just bumps the RPMs just a little bit. It's hard to, that's not a big example, but uh, let's see if I can go down to fourth gear. It kind of bumps the RPMs up to match where the shift's gonna land. And it, you really don't notice it that much, but um, it just seems like it smooths it out a little bit too much for me, and I, I'd rather just drive in normal mode. But if you just wanna have a smoother ride, or if you're new to um, a manual transmission, I can see where that would really help out a lot. Cause sometimes, especially with me, with uh, when I first started driving this, I probably should have turned that on because I was not driving as smooth, smooth as I should have been because I was getting used to the clutch. Uh, the clutch is, was definitely an issue for me. My particular, um, what I'm accustomed to with a clutch is a little bit different, but some cars I could just get in and drive it like no problem. I think the Gol Volkswagen Golf was like that and the, um, and the Civic uh, were just, I just got in it and drove it without any adjustment whatsoever, but some vehicles take a little bit longer for me. Uh, now it does have the adaptive cruise control in which you can follow vehicles in front of you. Um, it also has the lane departure uh, alert and steering assist. Now, steering assist, it just kind of like nudges the steering wheel and it goes to the other side and bounces off that line. We'll see if, it, see now it's just telling me, to, it's just giving me an alert. It's not even giving me an assist. But um, yeah, it, it, it's, I guess it's okay. The adaptive cruise control is great. Uh, it follows at a decent distance behind people. I always set a far distance, and it um, you know matches pretty good. Also, you know matches the brakes. It uses the brakes to slow you down uh, if there's a vehicle slows down in front of you. So it's it's really really good cruise control system. So hopefully you can tell the road noise here and the cars going by and the, just the outside noise. Are you hear the clutch? <laughs> I don't know if you could hear that. Um, kind of gets annoying after a while. Probably just needs like one little half a drop of lubrication and it'll probably go away. But this vehicle has, I think it's like 7,000 miles on it or something like that. But the manual transmission is a completely different experience uh, over the automatic. 
So I'm glad that I was able to get a chance to drive the manual transmission. Feels really nice. This one has the two liter, four cylinder, 168 horsepower. And the shifter feels really good. Has like a leather wrapping or something like that around it. Um, doesn't really get hot or anything. Not really hot. Always gotta remember to upshift. It's extra gears there that I'm not accustomed to. Or extra... Actually, I can be in fourth gear in this vehicle and the, and it'll, the RPMs will be very similar to my Acura. So I find myself actually landing in four and then forgetting to go to fifth and six. So you can actually lower the RPMs quite a bit by, by doing that. But, uh, you know, just gotta remember to do it. Now, if I, you know, if I was driving this, I've only been driving this vehicle for a few days. So, you know, if I was driving out for longer periods of time, it would, I would certainly, I can have no problem with the clutch and the, the gear, gears and all that stuff. So what do you think about this vehicle? Did, did you watch the the uh, in-depth look video I did on it? And there's a night video. Matter of fact, I'm heading there to film that now, but that should be on the channel by the time you see this or shortly after. And um, so just let me know what you think if you watched all these videos about this vehicle, uh, if it's something you're interested in. I think it's, it's one of those vehicles on the market that I'm like, you know, that's for the price. I can see where a lot of people are gonna buy this. Especially the hatchback. Now the hatchback is not as useful as I thought it was going to be. I really like hatchbacks and the vehicle that I have. I have an Acura that's a hatchback and it's really handy. I could put all kinds of stuff in there. This one, it's it's such an angle. The angle of the back is such, at a, such a steep angle that it is probably just about like a trunk. I mean it's it's not really it's not as useful as i thought it was going to be i'll just say that but anyways uh yeah i just want to give you a little ride in the corolla here and let me know what you think let me know if you watch the other bit videos and then maybe tell me what order you watched them and if there's this is actually something you're interested in or if these videos have made your mind to not buy it either way or just just to watch them to see about the vehicle but anyways thank you for watching and i'll see you guys next time